Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of the baby challenge aka Supernatural Mama and we pick up on a Wednesday at 4am and Shannon is just about to get up. In the last part the portal came and Shannon got the middle of travelling to the future which is what I would like to do. Oh who's crying? Wednesday is crying her head off. So that's going to wake up poor Olivia who's going to have to end up going up and doing it. So Shannon wants to go to the future and I would quite like Blake to go to the future with her because he wants to learn the bot building skill. What I also want to do is I want to move house because this house is just a riot and it's too small, you know, we've got so many sims and so little space. I mean for God's sake we've got four children in the one room. <laughs> it's just crazy. But we've got 29 thousand simoleons so we really do need to get our money up so I'm going to send Shannon no I'm not I'm going to send Oliver outside to accept some gifts from friends because I know that you guys have been sending me stuff so I want to see what we have and I think Shannon should have enough lifetime rewards for the inheritance or the genie lamp so I think that's going to give us enough money that we can move house hopefully Alrighty, so we'll start from the bottom and we've got back to October the 24th, guys, so I'm so sorry that this is taking so long. Um, Tunstall, oh, Tunstall did and I, I took a gift of camera, I can't even speak, and it was 3,500 simoleons, so thank you so much for that. And I've already sent you a gift back today um, for that. So, s 2207 I decided to try and make a True Blood character myself, can't wait to see your choice. What did we get? Oh, we got the bowling lane and the plank plonk tennis table, awesome. So that means we should get some good surprise for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you ever receive a message back from me and it's hardly anything, then you know I'm recording. Passions1454, thank you, Sim Sugar. You have a great channel as well. I'm looking forward to our new friendship. Oh, 300. Awesome. So you received an exclusive gift from Sim Sweet Supernatural. What is it? Is the personality adjuster? Hmm, awesome. Okay, and I think there was a few that were for Supernatural Mama, I think, I'm sure. Yeah, here it is. We're Supernatural Mama. What do we have? A skill booster. Awesome. Isabel underscore BR. And she sent me another one. Large and in charge. Ooh, large and in charge. I just want to kind of pick the ones that she said from Supernatural and a personality adjusted as well. So we'll send her a gift back. Thank you so much for all of that. I'm going to send you a surprise gift box because I know that they sometimes come with money. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for all my presents. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, okay. I'm in a funny mood today. I am. I'm so happy. Um. Okay, Ashley... I just don't know what gifts to accept. So Amanda Day. I've got some of this. So I kind of want to get Ashley. I'm in a video right now. Awesome. B-D-E-C-I-C-O-99 sent me some bubble bath. Thank you. Chrissy la 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 la. Thank you for gifting me. 500. And I think that's all we'll accept for now, just because, I mean, thank you to everyone who has, but just because I don't want to sit and have you constantly kind of watching that. So, how does that work with our family funds then? So we've got, that's worth quite a bit, so we'll sell all. Oh, I got 6,000 simoleons, alrighty. So, Shannon, we're time to cash you in. Now, I've decided that we're going to go for the genie lamp because I don't know can you have a genie baby I don't know but I would quite like that so how does this work I have never purchased a genie lamp before <gasps> here it's here so let's clean the lamp Shannon Shannon where are you oh I'm so excited so I've not actually done this before so let's clean that lamp Shannon whenever you're ready Whoa. Oh. oh. 
Wow, he's, he's blue. We have a Smurf genie. Awesome. So, what about a friendly introduction to Mr. Genie? Oh, and there's attraction. Maybe you can have a genie baby. Um, friendly. Well, we'll ask about his career, but I think we know what he actually is. And we will have a little chat with him. He's quite cute. Curtis Prado. Curtis Prado. There we go. He's unemployed. No, he's not. He's a genie. He's not unemployed at all. Let's, uh, it's Wednesday's birthday. Today she embarks on the next stage of her life. Why not buy her a birthday cake? And it's Ryan's birthday today as well. Awesome. So let's make a wish. Is today what I think it is? She's unemployed, so I do not know. Okay, so let's make a wish with a stinky potty in the background. <laughs> let's make a wish. So it's snowflake day tomorrow. Okay. Right, so I can go for world peace. Nope. More wishes. Nope. Love. Hmm. Long life. Large family happiness. I think we'll go for fortune. Select wish. What did we get? What did we get? I want some money, Curtis. Give me some money. How much money? How much? Is this good? Is this bad? <gasps> oh my god! 100,000 simoleons! Really? That's awesome. Okay, you can need to t return to your lamp. So that means that we can move house in this part. I'm so excited. Return to lamp, Jeannie, please. Okay, so let's move house. So I have put a house from generations. No, not an additional home. So move within this neighbourhood. So I have put a house in from generations, which I've not played in and which I do love. Blake, you need to go to work because you're going to get sack around. Okay. Alrighty, so let's take everyone over, make active household, house, household, <laughs> household, and let me try and find, ah, here it's here, this is it here, kid friendly, mother approved, I thought that that was extremely appropriate, so once you get the cornflakes out of the carpet and the crayon off the walls, this house will be a real suburban dream, okay, so let's go for that. Okay, now what I will say about that house is it is a little bit crazy with the decor. So it is something that we will need to actually deal with, that we'll have to sort that out because it's not exactly my style, but I really do like the shape of the house and such like. So, 100,000, that is crazy. That is a crazy amount of money. I thought that it would only be like the inheritance is 30,000, isn't it? So I'm not going to use that again. I'm only going to use that. Oh, I think we can pay bills now. <laughs> so I'm not going to use it for more fortune because I, I kind of feel like that's cheating slightly. So we won't use that for that. But what I will probably do is use it to maybe set the genie free or, or something similar. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so let's go and move house. Oh, I'm so excited to move house. Bye house. <laughs> Goodbye. And that means we can celebrate Snowflake Day in our new home. So that's exciting. Come on, move house. Shannon, where are you going? Oh, is she picking him up? No, d Shannon, move to your new home. Click to go home. Shannon, don't annoy me today. And you, co you go to your new home as well. Don't just stand out there. Yeah. Okay. It is super snowy today. Look at that. It is. Oh, I love the snow. I can't wait till we get snow. I freaking love it. So I think Shannon is. You know, she's got four babies. She's got two supernaturals now. So I kind of feel like we're on a roll a bit. Okay. So. As I said. 
we need some redecoration. <laughs> so this is the house. Okay. So it is a four bedroom home. And we have a back tree house for kids. We've got a slide. You know, we've got a lot of things going on in this house. A lot of things came with this house. So if I just show you, so you come in and you have here a fireplace. I do not like the style of this house. It will be getting changed. Yes, it will. It will be getting changed because it's not my style at all. So that'll be getting changed. So we have one kid's bedroom over here, which is obviously for girls. Um, a bathroom. And we have a gar garage. So that'll be good because we don't have a car. So we'll get a car. Sliding doors out to the side. Another bathroom. And then this is obviously a boy's bedroom. And then we've got a nursery here. And then this obviously looks like the master bedroom. This is obviously Shannon's room. But then I don't know whether to give Shannon one of the smaller rooms. I don't know. I like the shape of the rooms. I think that they're quite different. Um, I like it. And then you've got your kind of kitchen area here. And such like with this bit in here which I really do like so yeah so this is the house before so I'm going to go away and do my my little my little magic on it and we'll see see what it looks like I think I'm going to take this bathroom out because there's no need I know that it's technically Shannon's bathroom but I just don't feel as if there's a need for that many bathrooms or maybe take this bathroom out and extend the boys bedroom Hmm. Possibilities are endless. So I will be back. It'll be literally a second for you, <laughs> but it'll be quite a bit for me, I would imagine. So I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, so we're back and it's literally two seconds for you, but it's been about, oh, I'd say 20 minutes for me. So let us have a look at what I've done with the house. So we'll just drop this down. So you remember what it looked like and this is what it looked like now. I have changed it to be much more sleek than what it was. If I maybe put the... Oh, what are you telling me that you can't get past? Oh, here they go with their... Oh, I can't get past routine. Okay, maybe I should have checked this. <laughs> but as you can see, I've made it look much more sleek. They had some random tartan wallpaper there, so I've changed that. Changed the colour of the tiles, changed the kitchen. These are units from Into the Future, which I love and I think look really nice. And um, just changed the table and just used a few Into the Future bits and bobs. It's a bob runes and change the couch, put the TV here, and then I've got like a reading area over here, which I think works really, really well. Changed the bathroom, because the bathroom was a mess. Um, so Blake, you, I think you're missing work, so you can go to work, because you're going to get yourself fired, I know you are. So go and work hard. Okay, so anyway, changed the bathroom to be far more modern than what it was and I left the boys room this part alone but what I had to do was I had to split this one room into two rooms because Blake and Oliver didn't have really their own room. Now I know that you know two grown men sharing a uh, one bedroom is a bit sad and Shannon has spoke to them about it but essentially they're here to support her and you know hopefully maybe with this house move they will start to find romance and maybe move out. This is obviously a child's bedroom and this will be for Erza and or Ezra sorry and Ryan. So this is what their bedroom is. Currently we have a nursery for them so that's just what that looks like which is pretty cute. I just realised that I'm a one crib short of a baby but then he's grown up today so that's fine. We are birthing him up. This is Shannon's bedroom. Her bedroom being the biggest. And I do like what I've done. I kind of just kept the the shape of things. Added in the dresser from one to nature set. And I've put our, our little Barney stuff in here so you can sleep with her. Not changed the outside at all. Then up here, I've left the girls' bedroom pretty much what it was. I changed the wallpaper, the bedding and the curtains. But apart from that, nothing else. And also changed this bathroom. So I wouldn't say it was a drastic overhaul, but I'm much more happy with it than what I was. But I'm thinking I may have to change this table now. Instead of having it as an eight-person table, I might have to change it to a four 
because they were doing their usual I can't get past nonsense so yeah so I might have to actually do that Shannon why are you looking looking so paused okay Alrighty, so it is Ryan's birthday today and it is also Snowflake Day tomorrow, I believe. We'll double check that it's Snowflake Day and that it's not glitched. Nope, yeah, it's fine. Alright, so Snowflake Day tomorrow, so we will hold a party. Okay, Shannon. What we're going to do is we're going to age up our little dude so that we can see... What we have and I'm hoping for a lot more success in the looks department from him <laughs> than what we actually had with the last one if you haven't seen the last part I suggest that you go and have a look and see her face and we are going to make her over just maybe not in this part we might give her a Christmas makeover why can I never find the cake like I can never ever find the cake <laughs> and I have aged him up so many freaking times but I'm yet to be able to nip in and know exactly where the cake is. And that is shocking. Why do I not know where the freaking birthday cake is? It's because I'm under pressure. Because I know you guys, you guys have watched me. Oh, it's under parties. Of course it's under parties. <laughs> right, Shannon. Let's blow out Ryan's candles. So Ryan Christie is having a birthday party. Come one, come all. Well, he's not exactly having a party, but we're just going to pretty much age him up. So if you go and get him, Shannon, that'd be great. We do need to buy a car as well, so we will get a car. I hope he's not in a bad mood and then we don't get to pick his traits, because that would suck. Okay. Blow out your candles. Blow them out. That tree's maybe going to annoy me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think that tree is going to get deleted. <laughs> okay, so let us have a good looking child. Let us have a cutie pie. So this is our human baby. Ryan was our first, he was our, our first child. He's our, well no, she was our first, but he's our first boy. Right, so age up whenever you're ready, Ryan. Let's see. Okay. Due to your excellent parenting skills, you may now choose a trait for him. Alright, as always, we are randomising it. Hates the outdoors. Oh, okay, okay. He hates the outdoors. Fair enough, fair enough. Alrighty, so he is aged up. So let's go and see what we have. Alright, Shannon, so you're in there. So let's go in. Oh, no, he's alright, I guess. Yeah, he looks not too bad. We'll go in here and we'll change his appearance. We'll let him eat cake and we'll change his appearance. I don't know where she's going. I don't know why she's getting changed. Are you really going to go outside? Look at the snow. It's up to your knees. And you're going to go and sit on a picnic table eating cake. I need to change this table. <laughs> as much as I love the table and I think it looks great, I obviously have to change it. All right, Shannon, what are you doing? So you are here with, what does he need? He doesn't need much, so you know, you could actually, instead of bathing your pet, why don't you take some time to actually teach him to do something? So teach him to talk. Okay, and what are you doing? You're eating some birthday cake as well. Okay. And what is wrong with Wednesday? Wednesday is crying. Again. <laughs> so let's snuggle, let's play with. Oh, I forgot I did that. I forgot. Oh, he's much better. He's still got a kind of dodgy nose, but then that's such a... Oh, no, it's not actually. It's, it's fine. So, yeah, he's much better. He's got big, cute eyes. He's cute. I like him. I'm going to change his eyebrows, though. Not keen in those. But, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. Okay. I love it. What about here, then? I could give him the Into the Future, which is Justin Bieber gone wrong by the looks of things. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. I don't mind at all. Or will we go for this one? No, that looks like that's definitely a haircut gone wrong. What about this one? I'll give him a sort of Ode to Elvis Presley sort of quiff type thing. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. 
I don't really have many hairs for kids or something. Yous will probably hate that. I've got a feeling in my bones that yous will hate that. Um, no, I don't like that one. That's practically the same hairstyle. Yeah, little boys don't really have much going for them with hairstyles, so I'm going to go with that one. And I'm not going to put any makeup on him, obviously, because he's a child. But yeah, so I'm quite happy with him and how he's aged up. And I think that we will assign him one of these beds. So we'll put him in the corner, set bed ownership to Ryan. And why don't we plan his outfit as well? Do you think we should make over Olivia? You did say that you wanted her made over. So, yes, I think I might. I think I might actually. We'll maybe do that. We'll maybe do that. We'll see if we can do that. Alrighty, so your everyday wear. So we'll just change our everyday wear and see. Wow, those are some gorgeous pink shoes. <laughs> Aren't you quite the dashing sergeant? Alrighty. So what can we do for his everyday wear? I actually don't mind the dungarees much. Okay, it's winter, so he's going to have wintery clothes. So let's pop this kind of snowflakey jumper on, because that's cute. And for trousers, no. Absolutely not. So we'll put some nice little boy jeans. And why is he wearing those shoes? I didn't even... And they do. They have the shoes in the boy category. I mean, honestly, get some boots on him. Yeah, much, much better. And I don't really care what he wears for the rest. Well, maybe the out outerwear, because it's winter, so we'll see that a lot. Oh, no. You go to school like that, and you are going to be rolled down a hill or a head flushed down the toilet. So, no. Let's get you changed. And let's get you the pink gloves off you. My goodness. Alrighty. Yeah, much better. Much, much better. Because on Snowflake Day, we're going to make sure that he gets out and about and also, you know, make snowmen and all that good stuff. I really need to get Blake travelling to the future. We really need to get that done. Okay, so this is just a disaster. So, Blake, what are you doing? Wash dishes. Where are you going to wash dishes? There's a sink right there. There's a sink right there. Who is crying? Right, okay. Alright, where are you? Where are you? So let us bring up... Can we actually shift click on her without bringing up the tests and cheats? I don't know. Um, no. Right. Okay. So testing. So if you ever want to do the create a sim, if you don't know how to do it, you do shift, shift, control and C. Did I do that? Hold on. Shift, control hold on escape shift control c and then testing cheats oh my god enabled i can type way faster than this this is just because my keyboard is way behind my mic so testing cheats enabled true and then you would shift click on your sim to edit sim so I normally don't use cheats. I don't really like them, but this is a this is a good one so, so. to get in here and quickly change her her mush. So <laughs> so we'll go in here and change. No, we don't want to change our basics, but we'll go in. Okay, so let's get the hair off the head so we can see the face properly. So we'll just quickly stick that on. Just oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I forgot that face, that freaking face. <laughs> All right, I don't mind. Mm. Mm. Okay, already that's a bit better. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I know I keep going on about it and going on about it. Right. So let's. No, I don't want... Oh my god, I don't want the curve even more. Oh no. Brow rotation. That's what we want. Need to bring those bad boys down. And maybe make them a bit arched. Don't want them too high. Yep, so that's cute. Alright, so for eyes, let's just whack some normal eyes on her. Yeah, let's just do that. We will make them... 
We'll make her eyes a bit bigger like her mum's because Shannon's got some big eyes. The eye height is perfectly fine. So there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. Okay. So for nose, let's just put a normal nose on her. 1,001 million times better than before. And then for lips, our top lip's fine. So let's, can I pull out the width a little bit, make it a little bit thicker. Yep. Make the shape a little bit plumper because Shannon's got some plump lips. How cute is she now? So let me just tweak the nostrils. Nostrils, we'll take them down a little bit. Tip of the nose. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how much prettier does she look? Okay, and I think I downloaded a hairstyle from my Sims resource. But I don't know if it's just for adults or not. Oh, I think it is. Unless it's hairs with accessory. So let me check that. If not, we'll just put her, her normal hair back on her. Um, or we could really funk her up and use one of the Into the Future hairs. Could do that. Could give her a bit of a funky look. No, it wasn't that. Because that is cute. Oh, that really suits her, actually. It gives her a really youthful... A youthful appearance. Hmm. I actually really like that. I don't really like it on adults, but on teens that is that's really cute. I think it is. Please tell me you like it. <laughs> if you don't like it, we'll change it, but I think that that really suits her and I think she looks I think she looks cute. Will we give her some makeup? Will we? We'll give her some makeup. We'll give her some, some lipstick, I think. Some nice, kind of natural. Yeah, that's cute. Some natural lips. Yeah. Alright. Okay. What do we think? What do we think? I love her. Yes. Much better. Much, much better, Olivia. Okay, so I think that I'm going to leave it there. This tree house is going to annoy the life out of me, so I need to move it to the back so that it's away from my view. And I think as well we'll buy them a car, so we need a parking space. Why put a garage in if you can't get a freaking car in? Like, what, what's the point in that? I mean, that's just stupid. Because you've just put a garage in that has no space for a car and the driveway has no space for a car. Oh, Okay, I'll sort that out, don't worry. Don't worry, there's no stress, there's no panic, I'll sort this out. <laughs> Not in this part, but in the next part it is leisure day or leisure day. No, 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 it's not. No, no, it's not. I don't know why I'm getting excited. It is snowflake day next. So that is going to be really, really exciting in the next part. And I can't wait to record it for you all. So thank you for joining me. I hope you like the new house. I hope you like Olivia's makeover and little Ryan is all grown up. Oh, how they grow up so fast so so fast so yeah so have a great day guys and i'll talk to you soon bye